go. You know, <laughs> oh, what? So what? a lot's changed. Are you still living in Nashville? I live in Nashville, yes. Uh, I live also in southern Ontario part-time. Um, you know, I, I split my time between Canada and the States. I feel Canada is very much home. Nashville is my creative home, but Canada is my home. It's where my roots are. It's where my family is. It's what it's, And that's really the most important thing. It's all a part of who I am, but different pieces of me are sort of you know, filtered out throughout the geographic landscape of North America. <laughs> so I just sort of, I get around, I get around. <laughs> I wanted, um, I wanted to be close to my family and where I'm located, my, I have uh, two siblings, I have a parent, a grandparent, I have an aunt, my, one of my mom's sisters, I have friends that I've known for 30 years, five houses down. I feel really safe and losing my mom made me want to really make sure I stayed connected to those people and it's a sense of family you know and, and I don't have kids of my own so there's something that sort of makes me value that extension a, a little bit and so I got a place that's again like within two hour radius of just about everybody some are even within an hour but they're not close enough to just pop in <laughs> there's a fine line there Yes, I do. I have somebody great, and it took a long time to get it right. And finally, you know, it's it's relationships are very difficult. And the one thing I realized that even the best of relationships are difficult, but they don't have to be hard work on a daily basis. And it doesn't have to be something that feels like you're just forcing anything. And I'm in one now that feels it's just understanding and respectful and kind and loving and I'm doing fine in, in that area so and I think that bleeds over into everything else in your life and in, into your job and your passion you, when you have that kind of support from somebody it really makes a big difference and and I had that kind of support around this album and this project and it made a big difference nice. I have not got any clue where it's all coming from. I just do what comes naturally, what feels right to me. And what's interesting is the classic record should have come before Roots and Wings because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I knew if you'd asked me 15 years ago, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I would have said at some point I'm going to do a classic country record because that's what I cut my teeth on. That's what I was sitting on the edge of my bed in the basement in Medicine Hat, you know, strumming my guitar when all the other kids were out at dances with their boyfriends. You know, I was just addicted to country and it was the thing that I just, I couldn't get enough of it. So a lot of the songs on this album are actually songs that I've been doing longer than better things to do. You know, they're songs that led me to my first hits and, and inspired me to become who I am as an artist. Well, I think the biggest change, honestly, has been in technology. Um, what I remember my first pitch meeting at a publishing company in Nashville. They had a, they had to pull out reel-to-reel -reel tapes and spin them and put them on the machine and get feed it through the thing and like. And I'm not that old, but that's like that's 1987, 88, 89. I have seen so much change as far as technology and in, in recording and. <laughs> I mean, the mechanisms they can use on vocals now to be able to tune people so that it, they don't even really have to be able to sing on pitch to, to make a hit record. and You know, but at the same time, you need a great song. That's never changed. You need a song that's going to resonate with the human spirit or with people. That's never going to change. I think the process has changed more than the actual, you know. I think there's always going to be influences from pop or country this person's not country enough for that it's been going on for years it's been going on since the 70s right but uh the technology's changed things and it's changed people's record buying you know they don't buy records they don't go to the store and buy cds as much anymore i think they probably do more in canada than in the u.s but we are living in an instant gratification society and they mm -hmm. want it now and that's really hurt record sales for a lot of artists and for record companies. Record companies are very few and far between now and they're all banding together and they're merging and people are losing jobs and artists are losing record deals or going independent. So it, it's definitely uh, taken on a life of its own and, and, and it's grown into something different. Mm -hmm. But people still love music, that's the bottom line, which is great. And I'm glad that I came out in 1995 rather than now, because I think it's tougher now with the talent shows and the voice and 
the competition and the, the kids that are singing they're like coming out of the fetus and hitting like eight octave ranges it's it's freaky so I'm glad that you know I came along at a time when mediocrity was fine <laughs> we didn't have to do vocal gymnastics well I couldn't so it's a good thing <laughs>